the best manifestation technique that you keep forgetting to use. I've done videos on this before, but I know you're forgetting because even I forget and I'm teaching it. So, okay. When we are trying to manifest something, we really need to have belief. We cannot manifest anything outside of our personal belief system, which is why you're gonna see so many different people get different results when they try to manifest. It doesn't mean the law of attraction doesn't work. It means you need to tweak your belief system before you're gonna be able to allow and receive what you're asking for. So think about it this way. A positive affirmation is fantastic. I highly encourage them. However, if you're saying something that you don't really believe, like you're trying to convince yourself you're wealthy when you're looking at your bank account and it says you're poor, so that's a mismatch, right? You're out of alignment and it's not really gonna be easy to attract. Actually, it's gonna be impossible to attract anything when you don't yet believe it's possible for you in your personal belief system. It's not enough to say, okay, well that works for other people, but it doesn't work for me. You know, you might believe in the law of attraction, but it only works for these people. They're experts, they're better at it. Well, it works for everybody. And if it's not working for you, it's because you have a limiting belief that it doesn't work for you. So, and the law of attraction is always gonna prove you right. So it's all about your beliefs. So this trick, this is very important. Instead of saying a positive affirmation, I want you to turn it into a question form, at least until you start building up that belief and you know gaining evidence that you can attract what you desire. So how about instead of saying, I attract abundance in all areas of my life, start saying, how did I attract abundance in all areas of my life? When you ask it like a question, why did I attract abundance in all areas of my life? So when you ask how or why, instead of just stating an affirmation you don't actually believe, you can actually switch your subconscious mind. Your subconscious, by the way, is, does not believe in fact or fiction. It is what it is. It's whatever you tell it, okay? It's going to take that on and believe it. So whether it's already happening, if it's a lie, if it's a fantasy, it's going to believe it. So we got to be really mindful of what we think because our subconscious mind believes what we say. So we don't want to say negative things about ourselves for that reason. Now, when you ask in the form of a question, it does a switch in your mind and your subconscious mind will start looking for ways to be abundant. Like how did I become abundant in all areas of my life? It's gonna start searching and searching for that possibility. Um, your reticular activating system is also involved in this process. That's for another video. Anyway, I would love for you to start trying that and um, stop with the positive affirmations that you don't believe. Stop, stop saying that. Ask it in the form of a question and watch how much faster you're gonna be able to manifest things into your life. It's going to, you're going to become a magnet because your mind and your heart need to be in alignment, okay? Um, our minds are electric and our hearts are magnetic and we want to have that electromagnetic uh, combo going on so we can actually attract things into our life. Now, I have a deck of cards that I created, teaches all kinds of law of attraction techniques. It's actually addiction recovery with the law of attraction. Um, if you think you don't have an addiction, even negative thinking, overthinking, those are all addictions. Limiting beliefs are addictive, by the way, too. Um, some of us are just ad addicted to validation. Like we need to be constantly validated. We see a lot of this lately with social media. So um, there's a lot of addictions, but also these cards are gonna just teach you law of attraction. Every card has a lot of content on the back to teach you all these tips and techniques. And I do sell them on my website, Day one life coaching, D A Y O N E lifecoaching.com. If this tip helps you and you want more of them, go there and find um, it's under shop, I believe, and then self help. If we're on a if you're on a platform where I could comment with a, a live link, I'll go ahead and stick that link below and let me know how this, this new tip works for you and have a wonderful day.